Wait, is everything all right? Could have sworn I heard. Oh, oh, sweetie, sweetie, are you okay? Hey, 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 now. It's okay. It's okay. I'm right here. Hey, I'm right here. You're not alone. Shh. Ease up, sweetie. It's okay. Take deep breaths now. Slow breaths. Breathe in. And out. Once more with me, okay? All right. In. And out. Look up at me, dear. Oh, those poor eyes. A nightmare, is it? You're not really sure? Well, you know, from what I've read, I've learned that sometimes something you see in reality can affect what you see in dreams. You didn't see the freakish singing Christmas tree we got from our neighbors years back, did you? No? <sighs> Good. Because that thing should be deep, deep in our storage room now, so don't think too hard about him if you haven't. <sighs> well, well, now he's in your head. That's my bad. Well, the joke's on you, because I'm getting chills about it, too. <laughs> so, hey, did you want to tell me what you saw? In your dream? Go on, take your time. Huh. You were wandering in a field and found a shadowy figure. They didn't speak and you couldn't see who they were, but you felt like you've always known them? That's a little interesting. Is it someone you're dating, you think? Someone I should know about? <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No harm, no foul. If you did meet a nice boy you liked at school, you'd tell me, right? All right, all right. Not my business unless you say something. I understand. But, no, sorry. Uh, do continue. Mm-hmm. Eating a picnic with each other? Chasing each other? Laughing and holding each other's hands? Sweetie, are you sure this isn't some kind of boy you kn You... Oh. In the last minute, you were both pulled away from each other, and before waking up, you saw that the figure was... Oh... Oh, sweetie, I, I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't... I can't believe you... <sighs> was she... Was she as beautiful as you remembered her? Huh. What... What was she wearing? Was it the... Oh. Woke up too quickly to tell, huh? You know... I, I bet you... I bet you she was wearing that blue floral print dress she got before the fireworks show last summer. And... You know what? That was the same day that we actually had a picnic together. We visited her mother's place that evening, remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the badger that managed to get into Grandma's garden that night. You and your mother tried to set up stale vegetable traps all night and prayed that they'd get caught in those little things. Well, yeah, the deer fell for it, but not the badger. I know, I know. They were way too sly for us. I don't understand it either. You know what? You and I can get them at some point when Grandma beckons about it someday. No, 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 it's, it's something your mother would have loved to see us try at least. 
Now, I know that you know that me and her weren't the best when we came to collaborating. Aside from making you... <laughs> I was just waiting for your reaction. You knew I was going to say it. A dad joke or not, it's still true. We did share a lot of indifferences, to be honest. But the one thing we knew meant the world to us was you. We knew things weren't going to be the same when you came around. Things were going to be so, so much better. We were so damn scared that we were going to mess things up at first before you came into the world. We were talking to everyone, researching and reading up on anything that prepared us for parenthood. The saving up, the seminars, and the shopping we did was crazy, but it was exciting. With your mother, I could go through hell and back, and I would still be wanting to go through more with her. Willing, even. She was a good mother, and experiencing that before or after she became one was everything to me. Well, no, uh, I'm not undermining myself at all, sweetie, because I sure hope I'm a good dad, too. <laughs> fifteen years is great experience so far. You can throw another fifteen at me easy. Yes, yes, even if my spine gets so worn out that it bends at the smallest breeze, I'm still going to be there doing everything I can for you. Believe you me. Yeah. Yeah, it still feels surreal even over a year, huh? Hmm? Well, yeah. Y yeah, of, of course we can visit her grave. We can head down first thing tomorrow evening when you're done school, and I'm rushing out of work. I'll convince my managers to get me out a little earlier than usual. Hmm? A jewelry box you made in Homac? Oh. Well, isn't that sweet? Yeah, absolutely. Pick that up from school, and we'll fill it with a few trinkets for her. We'll make room beside her family's memorabilia. She'd love it. Sweetie? Oh, sweetie, come here. <sighs> sweetie, I, I know it. The feeling can come rushing back just like that, but just know that she and I love you more than anything. Now, I haven't really told you this because I didn't want you feeling worse than we both had been, but... When she spoke with me in the hospital during chemotherapy, a week before she left, she said to me that she knew you were going to have some of the hardest days of your life after she was gone, and that gut-wrenching feeling we get when we feel pain, hatred, anguish is going to probably stay in there for longer than we want, but she told us to hold on. Hold on, because if we don't, there will never be any room for us to get better. She said, she said that eventually we can move on, we can continue our lives, that we can keep talking, laughing, singing, traveling, eating, dreaming, everything that makes us happy, things that keep us closer as a family and eventually the gut-wrenching feeling it it ends up fading into nothing and we keep the emotions that keep us close to her but help us move forward we owe it we owe it to her to stay happy and proud of who we are and what we meant to her in her life. She'll always remember us as we remember her. No, no, no. I'm okay. <laughs> she just has such a way with words, you know? <sighs> you think you're gonna be okay? It's a lot to bear, I know, but... 
If we could laugh about little things like this, you know, just thinking of memories that made us really happy to be with her, then I'm sure we can both pull through. She'd want that for us. I know it. Hey, it's um, getting a little late now, but I actually have a little something for you to hear. A little entertainment <clears throat> before bed, if you will. Okay, okay, okay. Well, ages ago, when we were still dating, I had this idea to become a musician, so I wanted to... <laughs> right? Me? Know how to pick up a music career to save my life. Okay, but no, l let me finish. Uh, grant me acceptance to say my piece. Alright, greatly appreciated. Okay, so... This pompous idea of me becoming a hotshot local musician to really win over your mother was a hidden goal of mine. That, wait for it, only lasted three days. Oh, how the mighty have fallen indeed. But the plan was to write a song for her, then follow up with a proposal to seal the deal. I was only in the writing process. I had all the instruments and structure of the song mapped out in my head, but hardly had the money to even follow up on everything else. I kind of just flaked out on the whole idea when reality set in. But even when that was probably going to be a bad idea to begin with, I still wish I had the ambition to finish that song. So, um, the other day I was going through our old things and actually found my lyric book with the song in it. She must have found it at some point and didn't want to tell me to not have me embarrassed. <laughs> Go figure, huh? Anyways, I, um, have it right here, tucked away here. It's, uh, amateur as hell, but... Wait, why do I have the lyrics sitting in my pocket to begin with? It's been a while, and I was just going over the song earlier today. For old time's sake. Anyways, don't laugh. <laughs> This is your dad making the attempt of a lifetime. It would have been a hit for sure. <laughs> now, this isn't all of it, but just the beginning portion. Here's, um, here's how it goes. Somber sunset lights dim without a word. Insects will chitter as the air begins to turn. A cold chill peeks in. World is filled with peace. Flowers of many lay their heads to sleep. Sun to moon transitions can never equal the vision of your resting peaceful face. Though the sky brings the stars, your smile is not far from being the brightest in space. Stay inside, late, don't cry. The beauty of the night is tame. Share the sky, sing the peace of the twilight serenade. <clears throat> that's, um, that's it so far. <laughs> I bet she read through this with a smile on her face, thinking about how stupid this is. <laughs> that put you out, huh? 
I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> hmm. Good night, dear. Me and your mother will always love you very much. Rest easy now. Hey everyone, thanks a lot for tuning in. I want to quickly give thanks to everyone that watched and gave feedback to my previous ASMR video. I was really nervous in how feedback would turn out for my first outing, I'm not gonna lie, but from what I've received, I couldn't be more thankful of your input, and I couldn't be more prouder of myself for taking the plunge into something new. I'm glad that you guys liked it, and I'm hoping you like this too. Anyways, um, hope everyone enjoyed themselves, and that you all have yourselves a bright day or cozy night. Take care, everyone.